So, in this session, we're going to understand information gathering. The earlier session that you had seen, uh, or the earlier videos that you had seen, basically they are a prerequisite for the ethical hacking course. They are fundamentals. Okay. So, from this section onwards, you will learn whatever it is needed to learn in your ethical hacking course. So, we're going to start with the information gathering. Right. Uh, so let's suppose that there are 10 targets and an attacker wants to choose uh, a single target how basically he can choose there is something called as hack value which we had seen in our earlier videos and hack value says that the the interesting information that a target is having uh, attract uh, the attacker is going to attract it towards that information so if a target is having a confidential file of maybe nasa then an attacker is going to interest toward it, right? He is going to attract it toward it. So now suppose that uh, from the 10 targets, uh, an attacker had chosen its target, right? What after that? Well, an, an attacker has to find the information about the target, the whole lot of information, right? But uh, it takes a lot of effort to find that information because sometimes you get and sometimes you couldn't get, right? Once you get the information about the target, you need to analyze that information. Why? Well, basically, you can find something knowledgeable from that whole lot of dump, right? The knowledgeable thing will later lead to something called as a vulnerability. If you can find someone, if you can find some vulnerability, you can later exploit it, right? So, suppose that you are analyzing, you get a dump of complete C drive and you find that there are 10 softwares so this is a knowledgeable thing but you need to find that which software is outdated or not patched that is actually a vulnerability you can later use that outdated version of a software uh, for an exploit purpose right so this is information gathering you can gather information about the target from various sources various references from the internet not only internet you can go for physical uh, you know references as well uh, so, we will see that how we can gather information from search engines, um, social medias, uh, Google Docs and many other, uh, you know, relevant websites. So, suppose, uh, suppose you are interested in a, in, a, in a domain, in a particular domain or in a company and you want to find the uh, information about that domain, how can you gather the information about a company? Well, there are two tools that you can use. There is something called as a WUIS command, okay, or WUIS tool. Well, what is this WUIS? Well, this WUIS is basically gives you a public information about a domain. So, it will give you public information about the target domain in which you are interested, right? Target, apologies, target domain. Well, there might be a question that uh, if you are uh, grabbing some information or if you are gathering some information about uh, from the target domain, then that might be a illegal process. Okay, but the idea here is we are only gathering public information which already this domain had publicized right in the internet. So, if we are, we are just gathering it, okay. So, these information may be separated, maybe they are in other block, maybe they are in website, social media and different other uh, zones. From the WUIS command, we are actually gathering all these information at one place, alright. So, that is WUIS command. A voice command is having or voice tool is having prime databases which handles this information and from, we are accessing those prime databases and taking the information from there and printing over here in the voice tool. So let's see this uh, if I have this uh, domains tool a website and if I provide anything here like www.google.com it will give you soothing results like this give you like organization name the country of it the pretty much important thing here is ns1.google.com which is aliases of google.com like name servers uh, there is ip address location a lot of information it can can give you some information has been completely hidden from you it is for the security purpose definitely it is google.com uh, they will not give you the information like that so uh, but you definitely not go for google.com <laughs> So the thing is like that you can grab a lot of information from domain uh, from from the from the domain tools like that was uh, points to be remember is you you cannot rely on this data if you had seen ns1.google.com you, you you cannot like rely on this you need to verify it you need to confirm it right and how can you confirm it by going through various voice records like confirm that 
like in the first website it is ns1google.com it is same as in the second website okay you need to compare it well uh, sometimes for the security purpose these big organization provide some dummy data over here it is not like ns1.google.com it might be ns5.google.com right so they provide like it is not 2019 maybe it is 2020 so they provide this dummy or bogus data here just to confuse you right so that you can cannot grab the information from the voice record this is one tool now if you are interested in technology related like what technology a company is using or a domain is using you can use something called as netcraft right they have a free uh, option for the tools and uh, i can provide my domain name there and can see the technologies so this is the thing i can give like that and hit enter and you will see that it will give you soothing results for the technology like this like it is google as a title it's a number one website definitely <laughs> uh, there is uh, ipv4 uh, different alias here uh, there is a top level domain, uh, there is autonomous system which I am highly interested in. Uh, there are IPv4 and IPv6 blocks, there is geolocation, the headquarters and uh, sub headquarters of Google. There is SSL and PLS information, I am highly interested in it, it is transport layer security which we will see in the later sessions. Uh, you see that it is version 1.3 which is good, if it is 1.1, 1.2, uh, maybe this is a target. <laughs> So uh, this is the way you can, uh, you know, narrow down your searches. So it's all about the technology. You can see here that they are using SSL, they are using JavaScript. Uh, there is cross-site scripting disabled. Uh, then uh, they are HTML5 and so many other things. So these two tools are, are very relevant to the domain and they can find, uh, you know, the whole lot of information about your domain from the technology and from the administrative purposes, right? So I hope you like it. Thank you so much guys and I'll see you in the next session for the information gathering or you can see the footprinting from search engines, social medias and advanced Google hacking, right? Thank you so much guys.